What is going on my lions? Welcome back. It is Monday and I'm excited to do the fourth uh, edition of our product research and we're going to talk about the listing itself and why is it important to pay close attention and really do an amazing job at it to make sure that we get the buyer's attention. All right, let me make sure I have all my notes so I don't miss anything. Okay. There are three aspects of a listing, okay? And it is very important to note for each one that they do an amazing job, okay? The first and foremost is the aesthetics, right? So this includes your photographs, um, um, all, the, uh, all the images, all the graphics in your listing, anything to do with that. So what does that mean? Like, should you just take your cell phone and take pictures of your product and just post it? No. It does not mean that this is your opportunity to connect with your buyer right so as you know that people are very visual they buy with their eyes now you can have an amazing product if you have a shitty listing that is the way people are going to perceive your product and believe me when i tell you that it has costed me a lot of money now i remember my second product not my first product because i got some pictures from my supplier but my second product i'm like you know what send me some samples i'm gonna do an amazing job i've taken photography classes at, at university you know uh, my major is in visual arts and business and i know how to take pictures so let me do my own photo shoot what did i do i took my iphone 7 and i started taking pictures right what happens there so that means that I took pictures with my cell phone and they were shitty quality. If you guys know anything about iPhones is that the camera was not advanced enough a few years back that it did not do a good job. And what happened to my listing, right? I had the copyright was amazing, but the pictures looked like shit. So when somebody clicked on the pictures, right? And they saw the listing, the first picture, my profile picture of my product, right? They looked at it, they're like, ah, this guy is not paying attention to um, what he should be doing. And given that he's so careless with his listing, right? What does his product look like? So needless to say that my, I did not sell anything for the first month on that product. And that was such a tough time because I was investing heavily in PPC campaigns and things like that. And it costed me money and it costed time. So time is very valuable. And once people perceive your product, right, in a, a specific way, that's it guys like in a perfect example is the real estate market i love giving that example because i'm heavily invested in it so imagine that you see a listing and uh of uh, of a real estate and uh, the house is great by itself if you go see it but the pictures are bad and the listing itself is priced high or there's not enough attention put into it right what happens there is a stigma that happens with that it stays in the market once it stays in the market because nobody is really interested the listing is not inviting enough for them to actually spend the time to look further and deeper and possibly contact the agent right the house stays in the market for a month two months what happens then when people look at that they're like okay there must be something wrong with this house right so that's the stigma that's going to get attached to it no matter it likes it or not no matter if the owner likes it or not so same way guys your listing is your first contact with your buyer and you want to put your best foot forward another example i like to use you go on a first date with somebody right boy girl whatever you go on a first date you present yourself in a really good way right you always put your best foot forward because you want to see what the potential could be with that relationship right you never go in with like a you know wrinkled t-shirt and um sweatpants and just go to the date what does that tell your date about um about you right either that you don't care what you look like you don't uh respect yourself um you don't care about your date you're just there for whatever reason that is they, they don't even know why you're there and that you're not really invested in this so why should they go on a date again with you right same concept you have to put the best foot forward you have to take the best pictures possible now i've told you guys that you can find photographers on fiverr um for 30 35 dollars a picture you can take a few spend some money and actually take good pictures the other way you can actually find great pictures is to ask your supplier i mean these guys are selling you the product on alibaba and if they have good pictures that means they have the database of these pictures 
ask them for that. You have the right to those pictures if you're buying products from them. So that's the best way to actually get professionally done pictures for free. So a lot of people don't think about that, right? So the quality of your listing extends beyond your images. And that goes with your description, right? With your title, in the key points that you put in your description. And guys, I'm telling you that there are specific ways to do a listing. If you uh, don't have a good background in uh, marketing English, right? And there is a reason why, because you want the listing to capture the, uh, the buyer's attention, right? You have that one shot and then they'll move on to the next listing. So you gotta get the attention. So it has to be, first of all, a title that exactly explains what the product is, right? A description that is full and answers all of the buyer's questions, because buyers have questions. Okay, what if I, what if, um, what if they have a question about, let's say, um, the measurements of the product? Um, let's say if you're selling something like um, uh, these headphone uh, adapters, right? So if you have the, the auxiliary adapters, which some are smaller, some are uh, bigger, some are male, some, uh, some are female, right? So you gotta have those kind of descriptions to describe the product so that the buyer does not have to go to a third party to get the description. This way, what, what's gonna happen is they're gonna find the listing, they're not gonna risk buying from you because there is some information missing, and they're not gonna ask you about it, right? They're just gonna move on to the next listing. So you wanna make sure your information is complete, up to date, and to the point, right? And at the same time, the language is marketable. One of the tricks that I use when I do my listings, and a lot of people don't know this, is I run a merchant words word search on the product. So I search what kind of popular words around the world are used to search for that product. And merchant words, the link is below guys. Uh, it's through one of my mentors and uh, uh, he has managed to get a 70% discount. So that is below. I also have a 20% jungle scout discount in the bottom. So that's below as well. So check it out. Again, so do a word search on, um, on Merchant Words. Find the top 100 words used around the world to find that product, right? And once you do that, use those 100 words, right, to make the sentences, the bullet points, and your title, okay? So you see how important it is. So now we're not only creating a marketable uh, copy, copywriting, but we're also doing a very optimized SEO, search engine optimized listing. So which means that it's gonna increase our chances of our product being searched and being clicked on. And th this is without having to do PPC campaigns to push that forward. So PPC should always be uh, an icing on top. It should never be your, uh, you know, go-to. It should be an icing on top to give you the biggest boost possible at the end but you have to optimize your listing. And the way to do it is to use the top 100 keywords that Merchant Words shows that has been searched around the world to find this product. So that is very important, guys. That's how you search engine optimize your list. The other important thing is to never repeat words in your title, right? Even when you're doing the keyword optimization, use the same keywords in just like a YouTube video. So what I do is one of the secrets I have is I basically take the title, the words that I use in the title, in the body, or and use it in my keywords, right? So, uh, so whenever and vice versa. So if I'm using the keywords first, like I've told you guys to search it on merchant words to find out what are the top 100 keywords, I take that and I create my title and my description based on those keywords. I make sure that they both match because that will help you get searched um, much better, higher ranking, and so on and so forth. So that's why we do it. That's why we optimize our listing to make sure we move on page one. Okay, the other two ways that it actually get more clicks on your listing and um, really build sales through that is called um, clickbaiting, right? So what does that mean? I mean, I'm sure you guys have heard of it. Like, I mean, a lot of uh, online marketing strategies use that, right? Clickbaiting. Uh, so what it is, is basically you're enticing the buyer to click on your listing by providing some kind of provocative information. So what I do is the images that I gather, uh, the professional images that I do for my listing, I put like a discount of some sorts. 
right? I put like 20% off, right? Right on the image. I Photoshop that in and then I save that image as my primary image for my listing. What does that do when people are scrolling through it? They all of a sudden think that, oh my God, this product is on discount. So I better click on it to see what kind of discount there is, right? So I provide the discount right in the image, right? Now, mind you, um, Amazon is not going to do anything with that because it is an image. It's an image. You're allowed to upload whatever kind of image for your product possible. So that's it. You're providing, you're giving them like a 20% discount image and you could put it in red if your image is black and white put it in red it'll really stand out guys that's called clickbaiting you're basically enticing the buyer to click on your product the second way is to actually provide the discount maybe do a, if you're saying 20 percent provide 20 percent in the bottom what amazon does is provides a green label right with the percentage of the discount on your product and that really makes your product stand out and it has like a little green banner and it makes it stand out among other products so that's how i increase my sales and that's how i clickbait my products listing so guys i'm telling you it'll do wonders for you guys try it out it'll be amazing for you i hope you guys learned something valuable today about listings so we're gonna recap again so we talked about having professional pictures high quality pictures and click baiting those. We talked about running um, a search on Merchantverse to find the top 100 keywords used for your product to buy around the world. And you're gonna use those keywords to create your title, create your description and create your bullet points and do it in a marketable fashion. So if you combine those two, not only have a great marketable listing, but it also is search engine optimized. So when people search for those popular keywords, your listing is gonna pop up, right? So, and I, yes, and the last thing we talked about are discounts to always include a discount with your product. It's okay, you can increase the price a little bit and then provide the discount. A lot of retail companies or uh, retail sales uh, companies do that, right? So that's just the way it is. That's just the way the world works. So uh, it's all in, your, in the buyer's uh, subconscious that they, when they see a discount, they have to click on it to see what it's all about, the least. And uh, chances are that they're going to buy your product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something valuable today and some tricks that I use to increase and boost my sales. And um, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. This channel is to support you guys with information, anything that you need to know on Amazon so you become successful and build an empire on this platform because I think the potential is amazing. And as always, think outside of the box just like this painting is hung. I want you guys to always, always innovate, always think about what else you can do with Amazon. And that's it, guys. Thanks again. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment. Give this video a like if you like this video. And let me know what else you guys want to hear, what kind of information I can help you guys with, okay? Thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.